Hello and welcome to the presentation of our paper on distributed online service coordination using deep reinforcement learning. I'm Stefan Schneider and this is joint work together with my colleagues from Paderborn University. Let's get started with the scenario and motivation of this work. So whether we're talking about virtual network functions in network function virtualization or microservices in a service mesh or even machine learning functions in a pipeline, we often have services that consist of multiple chain components. I just call them C1, C2, and there could be C3 and C4 here. We also have our network that consists of distributed nodes that are interconnected by links where each node may have some kind of limited compute capacity and also the links have some limited data rate. And then lastly, we have our users that want to use these services. And from these users, traffic arrives in the form of many rapidly incoming flows. Now, in order to provide these services to our users, we need to scale the involved service components. We need to place instances of these components at the different nodes in the network. We need to schedule the rapidly incoming flows to these different placed instances. And we need to route these flows through the network. So for example, I might place an instance of C1 at the ingress and C2 over here. And then as time passes, this scenario changes, of course, and users may arrive at a new location. The traffic may go up or down. And in each of these cases, I need to quickly react and adapt the scaling placement, scheduling and routing. Now this online service coordination problem is not new. There is a lot of existing work in the area, but when we looked at existing work, we found that there are often three major limitations when thinking about how to apply these existing approaches to practice or in practice. And that's exactly what we want to address here. So first of all, existing approaches often focus on mid to long-term planning per deployment request. And the problem with that is operational reality often diverges from any initial plan, and then we might run into problems. So instead, we really look at the rapidly arriving user flows here and try to process these flows at runtime so we're in a lot more fast paced scenario here. Second, existing approaches often build on conventional approaches like heuristic algorithms or mixed integer linear programs that are designed by experts and tailored to specific scenarios with quite rigid models and assumptions. And they're working well in these scenarios, but they easily break if the assumptions no longer hold, for example, because the scenario evolves over time. And here it would be a lot nicer if we had an approach that self-learning and self-adapts to any given scenario without any human intervention. And then lastly, existing approaches, both conventional approaches and self-learning, existing self-learning approaches often assume global up-to-date knowledge, sometimes even a priori knowledge of the entire network, which is of course not realistic, and also centralized global control of the entire network, which is problematic for practical large-scale networks. Instead, we really focus on local observations here and add distributed control that's a lot faster and a lot more scalable. And overall, we propose distributed self-learning coordination with model-free deep reinforcement learning. The main idea of our approach is that instead of one central DRL agent that observes and controls the entire network, we have multiple separate DRL agents that work in parallel. Specifically, we have one DRL agent per network node. And each of these agents only has local observations, but up-to-date observations of what's going on at that node and its direct neighborhood. And based on this local observations, it makes local control decisions, fast, fine-grained, and per-flow decisions at each of these nodes. We train this DRL approach in an offline centralized manner. So upfront, we collect experience from all the different nodes and leverage this experience to train a shared neural network very efficiently. And then for production deployment, we can make copies of this trained neural network and deploy them at each of the different nodes such that we can perform inference in a distributed fashion independently at each of these different nodes without any extra communication. To develop and implement this deep reinforcement learning approach, we need to define the Markov decision process. And here, it's a partially observable Markov decision process. And in this MDP or POMDP, uh, we get observations and make actions whenever a flow arrives at a node. For example, here F arrives at this node V1. And in this case, the our L agent at this node gets an observation that includes some information about the flow. So it's progress within the service and the time until its deadline. It also observes the current link utilization of all outgoing links also the node utilization of the node itself and its direct neighbors, and some other information such as delays and available instances. 
based on these observations, the agent takes an action that determines whether the flow is processed locally at the node or whether it's pro forwarded to uh, one of the neighbors of the node. And then again, these neighbors can make a decision what to do with the flow. After an action is taken, the agent is rewarded. And our goal here is to uh, maximize the amount of successful flows. So we give a large positive reward for completing a flow successfully, a large penalty for dropping a flow. And because these plus 10, the large positive rewards, seldomly occur when we start with a random policy at the beginning. So they're very sparse, they're very unlikely. We also introduce reward shaping where we give small additional rewards and penalties to nudge the agent into the right direction and to support training. We evaluated our approach on a set of real world network topologies and on stochastic flow arrival patterns and also on real world traces. We compared our distributed DRL approach against a centralized DRL approach, against a distributed heuristic and against a greedy baseline. And as I said, the main objective here was to maximize the amount of successful flows, which is here on the vertical axis. You can see that for increasing load, of course, the success rate goes down. There's nothing we can do about it, but our distributed approach has significantly better results than all of the other approaches. And in particular, it's even better than the centralized DRL approach, which is because the centralized approach has observation delay due to the monitoring overhead can only make coarse grained decisions because it's controlling the entire uh, network and there's just no other way due to scalability issues. And instead our distributed approach gets up-to-date local information and can make fast and fine grained local decisions. So that's why it has higher success rates. It also generalizes well to unseen traffic patterns. It's robust to sudden changes in terms of load or traffic pattern. And it scales well to large scenarios. So it outperforms existing approaches, but it's also a lot faster. So here the centralized approach gets slower with increasing network size, whereas our distributed approach is completely invariant to the network size. And that means it can scale well to large networks. And so overall, I present our distributed self-learning DRL approach that works with realistically available information, makes fast local and fine-grained per flow decisions, it outperforms existing state-of-the-art approaches, self-adapts to new scenarios without human intervention, it's robust to sudden and unforeseen changes, it scales to large networks. And so overall, I believe that this is an important step towards truly driverless networks in practice, towards higher efficiency, flexibility, and reliability. Thank you for listening. If you're interested, feel free to check out our code that's publicly available on GitHub. Thank you.